Yeah, so I come from a long line of proud stoners. You know, like we had more bongs in our home than vases. <laughs> and that made me feel cool, you know? And like I needed to feel cool when I was in school. I was a little closeted gay child with a lisp, okay? <laughs> like I needed something. So I told everyone at school that I was a stoner, just like my family. And they believed it, you know? Like other kids would talk about playing catch with their dads and I would be like, yeah, me and my dad bake weed brownies. <laughs> so one year I was 12 and our school told us that on Friday we were gonna have a D.A.R.E. assembly. Mm. Now D.A.R.E. is an anti-drug program that made drugs look like the only solution to their bo boring assemblies. <laughs> like they were bad. And there was this kid, Alex, who was this cool stoner kid, you know, like so cool, he had an X in his name. <laughs> and he, Alex tells me one day, he's like, yo, we should do your dad's weed brownies before the assembly. And I'm like, hell yeah. Even though I'm scared to get high and I'm scared to, st like, to steal my dad's weed brownies. So I come up with a plan. I'm going to go to the bodega by my school, buy some little Debbie's brownies, <laughs> give them to Alex and say they're weed brownies. And when they don't make him high, I'm just going to lie and say they were a weak batch. Then everyone would think that I'm still a stoner and I don't have to get high or get in trouble. It's a win-win in my opinion. So I go to the bodega on Friday morning and I get some little Debbie's brownies. And I give them to Alex and he's like, what strain are these? <laughs> and I'm like, the good kind. <laughs> Cause I don't know what a strain is. <laughs> so I guess that's a good enough answer for Alex cause he just inhales it. Like a kid eating chocolate at Willy Wonka's factory. And I'm like, geez, he is a stoner. That's a lot of edible. So we go to the assembly, and they have a giant TV, like, right on the auditorium stage. And on that TV starts playing the classic cartoon all-stars to the rescue, where your favorite cartoon characters from 30 years ago <laughs> tell you about the dangers of marijuana. <laughs> this is in 2017. By the way, not to 17, 2012, by the way. And they are Alf. Alf is on the TV. It is 2012, and Alf is on the TV. So at one point in the special, Bugs Bunny says, Eh, Doc, what's this, a joint? And I hear Alex next to me say, No, that's not mine. <laughs> so I look over, and Alex is sweating bullets. So then Bugs Bunny goes, if everyone jumped off a roof, would you? And Alex goes, well, I don't want to be alone. <laughs> I'm like concerned because Alex is tripping off of a little Debbie. <laughs> so either he got high before eating the little Debbie or this bodega is lacing little Debbies with weed. <laughs> So I look at Alex and I'm like, hey man, are you okay? And he goes, oh no, dude, this is a really strong edible, man. Oh, oh wow, I've never done this before. So Alex was also a pretend pothead. So by the time the special gets to the scene where Alf is singing about lung cancer with the Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Alex is running out of the room so quickly that there is like an Alex shaped indent on the door. <laughs> so the teachers find him in the bathroom in the fetal position. <laughs> and I would like to think that he was thinking about like little Alf's dancing around his head. 
So, you know, of course the school did a drug test and he came back like completely sober, like no drugs at all. <laughs> and they just boiled it down to like a simple panic attack, no big deal. <laughs> And Alex never told anyone that I gave him a fake weed brownie. And up until this day, I never told anyone that Alex had a placebo effect attack <laughs> and was talking to Bugs Bunny. Neither of us started smoking weed until we were like 16, mainly because no one would dare to share with us. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, guys. Make some noise